Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is I, Bean Turtle, and today I am on a different character, as you can see, for another Legendary Lost Sector guide. Uh, today we are doing the Skydock 4 Lost Sector that has Barrier and Unstoppable Champions, is Solar Singe, and has Void Shields, as well as a modifier called Pestilence. That means that when you kill a Scion, it drops a Void Grenade at your feet. It doesn't matter, they don't do any damage. To make this super easy, um, which is about a two minute, two and a half minute run, I am running Arbalist for the Barrier Champions. It pops Barrier Champions in one shot, it is really useful, and I use it all the time. Uh, it also has Disruption Break to buff your damage further when you when you pop a Barrier Shield or a Normal Shield, which I will use a few times um, to deal with the Void Shields that I'm too lazy to put on a Void Weapon for. For Solar Shields, once again, I'm using my Vision of Confluence. I absolutely love this thing, and it has Firefly. Uh, that's pretty much the only reason I've been using it a lot is because of Firefly, because it allows you to damage other adds around it, and it just feel good, feels good all around. There are other options, however, like Staccato that is dropping uh, now from the World Loot Pool, and a few other uh, Solar Scouts that'll do the trick. For uh, Burst Damage against the boss and some champions, I'm using the Hezen Vengeance. The Abilities is where the fun's at for for this lost sector however um, as i am running a uh, hunter trip mine build so to look at my subclass real quick i am running of course trip mine grenade this is important um, knock them down your solar supers are enhanced which means that blade barrage launches more projectiles so you do more damage with blade barrage um, as also also while radiant your throwing knives um, will be fully restored when you get a throwing knife kill so i've been running the triple throwing knives you don't have to run the trip throwing knives to proc this it's just uh there are three of them that do more damage in total than I think the um, explosive knife is, which is my other favorite. But you can do the do the same with the explosive knife as well. Also, Gunpowder Gamble is kind of just a fun thing, but you get six kills with solar weapons. Uh, so that's why I have the solar scout and the solar uh, rocket launcher on. And it gives you this really big, like, three trip mine duct taped to each other thing that you yeet at something and it explodes and does a lot of damage. And it has a big blast radius. It's it's a lot of fun, um, but this is not necessary. It just makes it easy to kill large amounts of enemies. Uh, my fragments. I'm using Ember of Ashes to apply Scorch stacks to targets. Ember of Torches, which is empowered melee from Warlock. Ember of Combustion, which final uh, blows with your super cause your targets to ignite. Uh, it increases the damage of Blade Barrage. To make this run really well, I'm running Ashes to Assets so that I gain huge amounts of super energy with my trip mines. Um, I have Bountiful Wells on. Every time I spawn an Elemental Well, I spawn more of them. It's Elemental Ordnance, so when I get Trip Mine kills, they spawn Elemental Wells. I have two of these on, and then I have Well of Ordnance, which means that picking up a Solar Elemental Well grants you additional grenade energy. Every Trip Mine kill will spawn two or three Elemental Wells, I don't remember which, and it will give you a lot of it'll give you a huge amount of your grenade back your uh, melee and your dodge i'm also running a different mod than yesterday which is in revitalizing blast stunning a champion causes it to ignite and clears your shield stun uh, what what that the second part means that i think it starts healing you but i'm not entirely sure and also when you stun a champion it causes it to explode uh, which clears out almost all of the ads around it and does 40,000 damage to the champion itself. And then um, the reason this build is so easy is Young Amkara's Spine uh, increases your trip mine duration and blast radius. Uh, ability damage grants trip mine energy. Um, that's why I like the triple knife because it counts as additional energy uh, for your trip mine. So uh, you hit three knives instead of say instead of just one or two i guess technically two with the explosive knife and you'll essentially get your grenade back instantly uh, also your trip mine damage on champions essentially gives you your your grenade back as well just be sure to stick the the be sure to hit the boss hit the target with your trip mine uh, for um, maximum energy back and with that let's get right into it so the second you walk in there is going to be an unstoppable like literally right here just first room you don't have to use a rocket, but I am this time. I feel stunned. Just gonna finish him because he was low. Alright, down here there's some Scions. Since I'm on Hunter, I hit him with my throwing knife. That's the point of this build. And then there's another Unstoppable. Hit him with, like, everything explosive you want. Because you'll essentially get those abilities back for free. Oh. Didn't give me my... I thought I was close enough to get my thing back. That's unfortunate. Alright. He's going to barrier here in a second. He will beam you down, by the way. Like, I'm at really low resilience, but he will just... Straight up 
end your existence. That barrier is the most annoying part of this. Alright, there's going to be a bunch of trash ads around the corner, uh, including one or two Void Incendiors, a Void Shield Incendiors, or Incinerators, whatever you want to call them. I know it's Incendior, but I hate that name, so. Um, <laughs> so pop in with uh, Arbalist, and that's that room entirely. In the next room, this is the boss room, literally it's that fast, there is going to be an Unstoppable over here to your left. Stun it. Um, I was kind of hoping for a normal grenade. Where did that go? Okay. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Um, I guess he's going to W key me. I've usually kept him dead before he even gets here. That should insta kill him. Well, I didn't need to do all that, but here we are. Um. With the incendiors, if you even bother killing them, because they can just be a little annoying. Bro, really? Um. Alright, so for the boss, because this is the only thing left, hit him with your melee for radiance, and then you immediately hit him with your blade barrage or super, and. I missed my rocket somehow. There you go, that's the lost sector. Open your chest for today it's helmets. Um, that took slightly longer than I would like, but that's because the unstoppable didn't um, cooperate this time. Of course, every run of a lost sector will be different, but you're still going to get a consistent uh, two minutes, 30 seconds or less, more likely less. Um, this is a really fast lost sector. So uh, with that, uh, thank you very much for watching. I am making these um, more and more often, and I hope to have one for every lost sector this season, like I used to do. Please be sure to uh, stick around if you like it, and have a nice day.